Well, joining us in studio is political analyst Azama Omdladla. Very welcome to you. So thank you for joining us in studio. Let's just start by you giving your overall look on the whole case. So what is your opinion? Well, um, thank you very much for having me and good evening to the viewers out there. Well, to, to start with, I think the, the first word that comes to mouth is the whole white monopoly capital um, influence again in that I mean, the previous minister had come out and said clearly that it was a violation of the Immigration Act, Section 9A, and it wouldn't make sense to, to grant such an approval because it would be in violation of the Act. That was the minister. Now, you've just quoted now that Denel had his own reservations. The, the court judgment has been reserved. So from my perspective, I don't really understand why the minister would be so so much in a rush to have this resolved if the judgment has been with i mean reserved so when all is said and done what is really at play here so i think that whole word again comes back to mind state capture um perhaps the minister can enlighten us on why she is so eager to 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 have this settled before we begin drawing our own conclusions because it just doesn't smell right why should a a individual company have the authority to have its visitors or whatever enter our country through a, a national key point without being vetted by anybody. I mean, Home Affairs is responsible for everybody who enters and departs from South Africa. So that's just, that's just the, simply the law. So why should the Oppenheimer company, Fireblade or whatever, have these special arrangements for, for them and their guests? It's, it's just nonsensical in my opinion. And it does pose a security risk for the country. Yeah, well, just calling on that security risk, what risk does it uphold this port uh, like the one the Oppenheimer's company is requesting for? Well, if, if they're going to come in and out without anybody really checking what they're carrying, I mean, we all know what, how much a little bag of diamonds full to the brim, which can fit in my pocket, how much that could be worth. It could be worth up to hundreds of millions, if not billions. So, I mean, and I suppose the Oppenheimer family are in the diamond business, so you can, you can draw all kinds of conclusions and, and create all kinds of scenarios of, of what could go wrong. And then when it goes wrong, who takes responsibility? Would Fireblade be responsible for whatever's gone wrong, or would it come back to say that Home Affairs neglected its duties and did not protect um, the borders of the country and, and entry and did not carry out its mandate? I believe that settling this matter um, outside court is actually dereliction of duty. It would be dereliction of duty. And if, if it is as per the suspended DG's allegations that he was suspended because he purely did not feel any need to have the matter, the matter settled out of court when the court has actually reserved judgment, it, for me, I just don't see the logic. There is no logical reason why the minister is wanting to settle this particular case. Well, thank you so much uh, for joining us in studio and giving us your opinion on the matter. That was a uh, political analyst, Zama Mladla, just joining us in studio, giving us some more information on that case and making sure that we understand it and that our viewers do also understand it.